color one. It's Ryan here with Frontline Animal Removal. And I'm gonna make a few videos about what it's like being a nuisance trapper and some of the misconceptions and the things that you need to do if you want to be successful at nuisance trapping. The reason why I'm doing this series of videos is because people are asking me all the time what my job is like. And if you're a young person out there who's considering a career, I got some good information for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, a misconception about nuisance trapping. Um, I have had communications with uh, people out there who like wildlife and like working with the wildlife and they want to get involved with nuisance trapping because they believe you get to work with wildlife. And how is this a misconception? Well, I, I interact with wild animals daily, um, so you would think I work with wildlife. Right. The reality is I do what I do to solve other people's problems. I am not doing what I do to make the lives of wild animals better, to make wild, life, wild animals happy. I do what I do to make the lives of humans better. And so we're not concerned, uh, we're not tremendously concerned with what happens to the animal. And the fact of the matter is, in the state of Ohio, most nuisance wild animals have to be euthanized. So caring for and releasing and giving an animal a happy life, we don't care about that. We're here to make the human happy that hired us. <clears throat> so if you care about animals or you don't care about animals, um, that is not a concern. If you care about people and you genuinely want to solve a person's problem and earn a respectable living doing so, then this may be a job for you. So typically, you know, the only interaction I have with a wild animal is when it's in the animal cage and I have caught it. And I don't pick them up and I don't hold them. Usually what happens is the wild animal then gets euthanized after trapping. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but it's quick and I make it as painless as possible. So the animal is put down very quickly and as humanely as possible. I don't like to see the animal suffer. Um, I do my daily trap checks like, I supposed, like I'm supposed to because I don't like animals sitting around in a cage, starving or dehydrating or cooking in the sun. But if you really are interested in animal damage control type work and you're a very handy person and you like to make people happy then this may be a career for you if you are an animal lover and you want to make animals happy and take care of animals and rehabilitate animals then you may want to go work at an animal shelter or you may want to become a veterinarian because nuisance wild wildlife control is not for those people who like animals. Uh, another thing to take into consideration is a lot of guys who are trappers and by hobby and hunters and fishermen, they think it'd be really cool to go out and catch some animals because fur trapping is fun. Hunting is fun. Fishing is fun. Nuisance wild life control is not fun. It is work. The big difference between hunting and fishing and fur trapping and nuisance wildlife work is hunting and fishing, many times you are not successful and that's okay. Many times with fur trapping, you put traps out and expect to catch an animal. If you don't catch them, that's okay. In nuisance wildlife control work, you have to solve the problem because if you don't solve the problem, then you fail. You have an unhappy customer and you don't get paid. So that can be very frustrating when you are not catching the animal or the animal is causing damage to something you have just prepared. In one half mile, also, many fur trappers that I know that have tried to transition into nuisance wildlife control work, they have bad habits. Uh, they tend to always repeat the type of trapping and sets they've done in fur trapping um, and the things
So if you're considering this career, you gotta keep an open mind. Uh, loving animals is not what you're here for. You're here to solve human problems. So if you're considering the career, take that into consideration.